Hi, I'm Matt, and welcome to Less Dependent Wisconsin. It's a beautiful sunny day here in northern Wisconsin, so I thought this would be a good time to do a product review of the solar panel kit I bought from shopsolarkits.com. This particular one's the DIY3. So we'll take a look at what it comes with, how I installed mine, and go over some of the basics of PV systems with you. So let's go get started. Okay, quick electrical lesson. So there's two types of electricity. There's direct current or DC, and that is what you get out of batteries. It's most commonly re represented by a straight flat line. Alternating current or AC is what you get out of your outlets and powers your TV, your appliances, and the nominal voltage coming out of your outlets is 120 volts. Okay, and it is most commonly represented by a sine wave. All right, now the way a solar panel system works is the sun strikes the panels, the material in the panels converts the sunlight to direct current. Okay, and from the panels, we go to a system controller, okay? And that will monitor the condition of the panels, the batteries, and the inverter, okay? And so the direct current continues on, charges the batteries, okay? The energy in the batteries, the direct current is then sent to the inverter. And the inverter is a mechanical device that converts the direct current to alternating current. Okay, when electricity is produced at a power plant, the inverter is not needed due to the way that the electricity is generated there. Okay, and then once it's converted to AC, then you can use it on your uh, appliances, lights, you know, you're within the limitations of the system. Now, as far as installing the system, I was a high voltage electrician in the Army for about four years, and then I worked for an energy storage company for about a year and a half after I got out of the Army. So I have quite a bit of knowledge about electrical systems and how to install them safely. Okay, shopsolarkits.com uh, recommends you have a professional help you do this. Uh, but if you know somebody with a good working knowledge of electricity, you know, you can probably get it done yourself. So um, that, that's just my circumstances. I'm in no way advocating that you actually install this yourself if you do not know what you're doing with electricity. Okay, because electricity can kill. Okay, so the kit I got is the DIY3 kit from shopsolarkits.com it retails for $17.99 on their website and what it comes with I'll just kind of highlight these things quickly uh, you get a 2000 watt 12 volt inverter you get two 200 watt panels you get two 12 volt batteries and you do have your choice of type of battery uh, you get the charge controller, the associated cables, the fuse and fuse holders, brackets and mounting, and then you get the schematic and the lifetime customer support as well. Okay, we installed the system on November 20th of last year before we had any snow. Basically, my buddy was able to install the panels. I stayed on the ground and ran inside and outside. The panels are all lined up right over a rafter. So all those screws hit a rafter and then we covered them up with silicone. The other ones I don't believe hit a rafter, uh, but we just topped those off with silicone. So the panels are solid and in place. It's a plug-and-play type of system 
basically there are some you plug in the connections uh, goes to a fuse and then that's all tucked under the panels uh, we should be able to access all of that from the top and I'll show you where we drilled into the roof to bring the cables through I can't see it very well but you can see this white silicone dripping it's all hard of course but that's where we drilled into the roof about six inches off the top of the roof fed the cables in siliconed it up real nice and tight I have not had any issues and then ran the cable along the rafter and in, into the insulated quail room I've got the rest of the system set up in my insulated room in the garage where I keep my quail the big reason I wanted to put this system in here is that in the winter if the power ever goes down I can at least heat the room and keep the quail alive because it does get cold so these are the cables that came from the roof this is the controller this monitors the status of the batteries uh, shows you if it's charging shows you if there are any faults and then the connections are all very simple these two to the far left were the ones from the roof this thing on the right here this is a temperature sensor for the batteries so power comes in and then goes to the batteries okay and it goes through a fuse the two batteries are hooked up in parallel they are 12 volt 100 amp hour batteries and then the output is coming off here goes through another fuse block and then to the inverter the inverter is a 2000 watt inverter you have a couple of options as to how to get power out of it you can actually hardwire it to a panel here and then like a, you know your typical house panel or if you're going to do what I did, did, I just plugged in a surge protector. Okay, so it's a bright sunny day here in northern Wisconsin. And the batteries are pretty much maxed out right now. The voltage does get up to about 14.3, 14.4. But as you can see, there is the warning lights showing that the batteries are full. Okay, the system's not gonna trip off or anything. And this is a good time to talk about the load. The load is the appliances, the things you actually have plugged in. So what I've got going on here, I've got a box fan. I've got a simple light on a timer. That's more for the quail. They need a light schedule but I'm using it right now to kind of highlight everything. I've got a small mini freezer plugged in and I'm gonna plug in an 82 volt battery. So the battery's plugged in and charging and then we should notice a drop There's a drop. The fault's gone because the batteries are now charging to compensate for the additional load. But we'll come back in 20 minutes. That battery will be completely charged and then it'll be right back up there. So you can power quite a bit of stuff. Now this is all during the day when the you know, the sun's constantly charging the batteries, the batteries are full. You can draw a lot of power off the system during the day. It's the storage at night that you have to be considerate of. 
Uh, this system is about 1200 watts that it can produce. So if you have a 100 watt light bulb, it could run that for 12 hours straight, basically. You know, a lot of things, if you're going to use them very short term, you know, just plug something in, like a TV or something, use it for an hour, you should get pretty good life out of it. Their website actually shows a list of all the different wattages of different equipment and the anticipated runtime off those. Okay, the battery is fully charged. And the system voltage is already starting to increase. It kind of dropped to about 13.3 during most of the charging. And now it's going to go right back up there as the batteries fill up. So that's my review of the DIY 3 kit from shopsolarkits.com. Again, my intention with this system was just a backup for heat for the quail and then you know any batteries or small things I want to run in this room I had no intention of powering my house off of it this system does not connect to the grid it's just isolated free energy for me to use from the Sun so anyways I hope you enjoyed this video focus on being less dependent we'll see you soon have a great day